So the first step in fitting your boat to the trailer, if you already have it on a trailer, or if you looked it up online to see what part of the boat, what part of the boat lines up with the center of the two axles, or if it happens to be a three axle trailer, you're fitting the center axle. You want to line up the boat with that because that's going to be your balance point and that's going to determine what, how much tongue weight you have. So don't drive it up to that roller because we don't want it to touch that roller yet. Later on, we'll adjust the roller to the boat. So there'll be a space up there. So first thing you're going to line up is on your current trailer or if you don't have a current trailer, Google gear, make, and model of your boat and the word trailer, and then click the images button and look for a side-on view of your boat on a trailer and line up what part of the boat lines up with the middle of the axle package. And imagine that's usually the end of the windshield. Sometimes it's a letter in the name. And if it's a letter, make sure you get the right side because they go this way on this side and they go that way on the other side. Um, that's what you want from, and I'd look at two or three online or if your boat's already on a trailer, you've got a good measuring point. Mark that on the boat and match it on this trailer. That's step one. Step two will go up to the front of the trailer. So once you've got the boat lined up with the center of the axle package, you're going to check the tongue weight. The tongue weight should be 5% on our biggest trailer or 10% on our smallest trailer of the total weight. So typically between about 5, 500 and 1200 pounds should be the tongue weight. So if you have a, 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 our 6,000 pound tandem, total weight's going to be eight, seven or eight. Your tongue weight's going to be about 600. So you can, there are several ways to check that. Look up the instructions on my website. Once you've got the tongue weight happy, you're going to move this bow eye so that the eye on your boat is right underneath this. It's almost always going to have to move down and then it oftentimes is going to move back. So on this trailer, happens to be an 8800 for a 24 to 28 foot boat. So for a 24 foot boat, it's gonna be in here, 25, 26, 27, 28. It can be back in here. So you're gonna move this down and back. If it ends up spanning the I-beam, which is raised above the tongue, use these two four spacers. Two of them go underneath here, and two of them go back here to raise this above the I-beam and then it can sit there. Uh, so there's about six inches where it can't go because those, those uh, bolts are either here or up here. Okay, that's step two. All right, go. Now we've moved to the back of the trailer. Your boat's on there, the tongue matches up, the tongue weight's happy. At this point, you're gonna check and see on the bunk. You can see there's a short amount of bunk sticking out past the bracket here. And if you look up to the front, you'll see there's a longer amount of bunk sticking out. So sometimes you can swap these end for end and have the longer part sticking out here. Uh, sometimes it's okay the way it is. The way this is set up, it's set up for the smaller boats on the range, the 24 footers for this 8,800 pound trailer. Um, and in some cases, if you switch them, you have to switch them side to side and front to back. You sort of rotate them so that you get the uh, angles right. So what you want generally is the boat to stick out about six inches past the boat. So if you've got a 28 foot boat on the trailer, the back's gonna be out here and you're need, gonna need to swap this bunk around so it sticks out further and provides more support back here. This is set up for the shorter. And in between, you'd have to take these bolts out and slide the bunk back. Underneath here is an inch and a half, so a little piece of two by two will keep it up the right height. And then you'll re, once you get it to the right spot, you'll re-drill the holes with a half inch wood drill. You drill halfway from this side and halfway from this side, then the holes will match up. If you drill all the way from one side, the holes won't match up and you won't get the bolt through there. So halfway from each side, and that will get you want your bunk to end up about six inches short of the end of your boat. 
that will give you some room in case you have to do a, a, a strap lift to get where there's no boat ramp. It'll give them enough room to put the strap, lift the boat up a little bit, put a block here, slide the strap forward. So that's what we need to do about the bunk and that's where I think it's step four. Okay. Okay, so step five, we move to the target bunks. Their job is to catch the, the keel, the bottom of the boat and point it up to the roller. So they don't carry weight significantly, but we need to adjust them. You can do this after you get home because it's not critical for the trip. After the boat dries out, you can slide up underneath there. You can see these stocks provide the adjustment and there's some set screws right here that you tighten once you get it to the right height and these will tilt to match the angle of your hull so after the boats on here you're gonna loosen up these set screws and you're gonna push this up either with your hand or you may need a jack if you use a jack make sure to release the jack after you're up touching the boat so there's no pressure. And then you tighten up the set screws and, uh, and that's it. You do that at the front and the back of the target bumps. All right, I'm, I'm gonna 